Welcome to Digital 100. I'm your host, Patrick Wagner, and this is the next episode. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to call this like a, let's say, digital tweak. Um, so it's specific to a digital product that I've encountered and some sort of a tweak that you need to do to kind of get around some of the technological gaps that still exist. So this one is something that I think many people are encountering as they change their setups and move from traditional, let's say, standard monitors or even LED monitors, and then moving up to what are now would be considered LED TVs for the size. So what I did, and I'll show you guys, I picked up one of these bad boys from Amazon. So it was a 40 two inch TV, I believe, Sony, and I use this as my monitor. Plugged it in, everything worked great, except for this strange scaling issue that I had no idea what it was. So all my icons and all the setups within Adobe Photoshop and Premiere and After Effects were all miniaturized and everything looked really strange. So I did the research and it seems to be a DPI scaling issue for Adobe specific to Windows 10. So there is a couple of tweaks that are available that fix it quite quickly. And I think that's what I wanted to share today and actually go over it with you guys. So on the Microsoft website, they actually go over the tweaks and we're actually going to take the time. So I'm going to actually include a registry editor file that actually shows everything to kind of do it for you or you can follow these commands and I'm actually going to walk through it together just to show you how easy it is. So I'm going to jump to my screen here and we're going to get started. So I'm going to click start and then run and then we're going to put in the run box, we're going to type R-E-G-E-D-I-T. So you click on start, click run, type reg edit, then OK. And you click yes, and the registry editor will pop up. Work your way down to H key local machine slash software slash Microsoft slash windows slash current version slash side by side on the edit menu click new d word 32 then type in prefer external manifest then click OK next we right click and click modify then you change the value base to decimal and add the value data to one press OK and that's it go to file and then exit so that's the edit there. Next thing you have to do is take one of the files here and place it in the appropriate directory. So I'm going to take my Photoshop. I'm going to take a look at where Photoshop is running. So here's where Photoshop is running. Look for your file. There's the Photoshop exe file. So I'm going to move this Photoshop exe.manifest file. And when we edit this and open this, 
these are some additional codes that just tell Microsoft and the schema that you're using these additional settings for DPI scaling. It's a bit of a workaround and a manual workaround, and you do this for any of your other Adobe products. Now, at this point, you restart your computer and everything should be fine. Um, one thing, you know, you should be able to restart it and everything will work out. It did for myself and all of a sudden everything was fine. But um, there are some additional tips that I was able to find. So I'm going to walk through those two. If, in case that doesn't work for you, go to your icon. So I'm going to use my Premiere icon here right click again on the icon go to properties and then go to compatibility and here you have some additional options to troubleshoot the compatibility with either your os or even the screen resolutions so take a look at this as an additional option but i'm very confident this solution will work for you so just replace that and then once you actually launch, there will be full size icons and it will be scaled to everything within your projects. Just want to show you how it looks here and there we go. So this is all scaled out and looks proper now. And that's it. I'm going to post the files so you can do the registry edit yourself or you can follow my manual instructions as well as the manifest override documents that you can add to the working directory of your Adobe products. Thanks very much, everyone. Have a great day.